Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of Caves of Kurt. So last time we almost died, but not quite. We were here in this cave and suddenly we got surrounded because I thought one of these droids was friendly, but it actually wasn't. So now we've got eight charges of our discharge, so let's uh, do a little bit of discharging. And then let's lead them here so I can only be attacked by one at a time. You're carrying too much to move. Well, that's a problem because I can't see anything. Um, what cost me so much pounds? Except for every... Th Ooh, I'm carrying a lot of water with me. Um, well, let's drop all the bronze stuff. Oopsie. This is not good. I'm messing up stuff. There we go. Um, so I put a bronze mace in my right hand, which should be the steel battle axe. All right. Yeah, I don't want any of those. Yay, we are level 10. Perfect. Uh, can we still move? No, we can't. Okay, so we are bringing way too much uh, stuff. So I think I'll just get rid of some of this stuff. So we drop this, we drop this, we don't drop that. Um, we... Uh, but I really want all of that stuff. Okay, we can drop the iron long swords. And then we still have to drop the some more stuff mm. but this is so nice to have look at all of this all of this money eh. um. well, what are you you're a voider so I can't actually do any I can shoot at you which flinches out of the way of a projectile. But yeah, I should really drop stuff, which is a hard choice. Um, so let's get rid of this stuff here. Because I think I'm misremembering stuff about the iron thing. So let's just get rid of it. This is probably quite worthy, or how do you call it? Uh, it's worth a lot, so... Oof. It teleported me. Because it's a voider and that's what they do. So let us go back and see if we can kill it. But I want something here. No, I don't. Okay, more water. And now we're carrying too much again. I wonder what if we use our tool called uh, the Joppa thing and we activate it. Nothing happens because it's not powered. Uh, replace cell. You have no cells that fit. Can I take it from here? And then put it into the Joppa recoiler. No, I don't. Boo hoo. Okay, we just need to get rid of some water, it seems. Um, that's a shame. Or we could get rid of this. We could first look at it, what it is. Ooh, a painted carbine. 1d8, 9 penetration. And we have a desert rifle 9-1-D-8. So the painted carbine is just worth a lot. Um, so let's look at these and see what they are. Box of crayons. Chemcell. 
Oh, uh, so we have a lot of chem cells. So is that the cell that fits into the chopper recoiler? Yes, it is. So let's put this very low one in. Nothing happens. Okay, so then... You're transported! Hooray! So let's see if we can basically just... Oh, I'm still carrying too much. Um, let's just drop a very heavy bag of water. And another one. Yeah, so let's see what we can do about that. Hello there! Let us sell you some stuff. You can have the heirlooms of Cutbook. You can have... where is the painted... You can have this, you can have that, you can have this, you can have that, you can have this even. Um, you can't really have much more, but can I get something that is worth some money? But doesn't weigh as much, basically, I guess. Um, doesn't really seem like he's got a lot in the way of things that can help me. Shotgun shells, of course. You know, weird artifact, but... Probably doesn't help that much. So what we maybe need to do is increase our weight. But we've got... Ooh, we've got four mutation points. I didn't realize that. Let's buy a new mutation. Yes, we do. So now we can either take a heightened speed, so we get more quickness but less toughness. We can take burgeoning, you cause plants to spontaneously grow in a nearby area, hindering your enemies. This is actually quite a nice skill, I'd like it. You toast a nearby area with your mind. Toast affected area over three rounds. Um, yeah, this uh, can kill you pretty quickly as well. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, 105 rounds, but it is a damaging skill because the plants will kill things but also it will stop people from moving through there. So I'll take burgeoning. Not as amazing as I hoped it would be, but well, what can we do? We have 180 points. So we could go for shield stuff. Mm, shield here. As long as you wield a shield, there's a 50% you block one melee attack per round. Um, so then we get more armor value, which is quite nice, I would say. So let's take that. And we have 82 points remaining. Let's leave it at that for a bit. Um, now the question is, can we pick this up again? And if so... Yeah, then we're just full again. I guess our equipment is just fairly heavy. Yeah, we've got this chainmail that's um, 35 LBS. So, ooh. Heh. <laughs> Plus one ego, minus extra reputation with the babe of fungi folk, but they didn't like me anyway already, so that's fine. <laughs> we just wear his face. Um, yeah, so the chainmail is a bit of a problem. But I also do like the chainmail, so I guess we should just get rid of some water, unfortunately. Um, here we go. What we could maybe do is put something in here. Oh. Let's put some water in here and see if it will still be there when we get back. And there we go. Transfer. That should help us a little bit, at least. Yeah, so now we have 265, so that's fine. Um, so, will we go back or will we go to Grid Gate, where we should go? Let's go to Grid Gate. You're dying of hunger. Yes. Don't I have anything with me? I do not. That's not good. Um, 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 
Will I walk back? And... Hmm... Can I eat this thing? No, it's a robot. Um, I'm wondering, should I fight things and hopefully find something that basically is edible? Like that Equimax. I guess the Equimax wouldn't like it, but I need to eat. So I was wondering, I could walk back, but I might, I have, I'll definitely run a chance to die. So let's fight this Equimax. So now we have the left foot of the Equimax. Somewhere. Or did we immediately eat it? Yeah, we ate it. But now, of course, the Equimax will hate us. All right, so at least we're not starving anymore, luckily. Um, and we ate the entire Equimax corpse. So we need to get some food. Nothing here though. Yeah, Jilted Lover. Any more Equimaxes? No? None at all? This is blocked by a shale. Mm. Here's a pig. So we got some more food out of that. Ooh, that's something to pay attention to more next time. Yeah, so here's a star apple tree, but we don't have harvest tree as a skill, so... How much food do we have now with us? We have only raw boar meat, so I would like to get a little bit more before we continue our travels. That would be the safest thing. Of course, then we actually need to find... Hello. Your domo fo fulo, the stalwart snapjaw gut spiller. Tussocks of fur dressed skin stretch over tight muscles. Oh, that's the same description. But this is the alpha. It's loved by snapjaws. It's hated by unshelled reptiles for releasing snakes into one of their camps. And it's admired by birds for providing shelter during a glass storm. Well, that's nice of you, but I th still think I'll have to try and kill you. No apologies. Um, let us do this. And it's bloody and injured. Mm, but I'm also getting surrounded a little bit. So let's see if I can flurry it and dismember it. There we go, now I killed it, and now my snapjaw reputation went down. But luckily my reptiles like me now, but birds don't like me, unfortunately. Um, because he provided pro uh, shelter to them during a glass storm, which was very nice of him. But then he attacked me, so I don't know, what could I have done different? Except for not being looking out for food here. Ah, uh, now this, oh the birds are still okay with me? Nice, thank you. Okay. I hope I can get some food out of this. So we have an irritable tortoise, tortoise corpse. We've got a glow crow corpse and a dog corpse. Um, we've got all that with us. And we can all eat all of them. Um, what if I eat a glow crow? That hits the spot. You are now bloated and quenched. Alright, so we have some food. So we should be able to continue to grit gate which gives us 500 experience uh, we still have left hand left hand no let us equip that thing that he gave us um, the droid scrambler because I don't trust it I've actually never been here normally I always die beforehand 
Albino ape is happy enough with me. Some security doors. Lots of security doors. No, I can't penetrate it. That's fine. Let's see if we can get through anywhere though. There we go. More doors. It's not very well defended, but here is a door or a stairs. Hmm. We've got a slug snout. We've got a segmented worm. We've got a way droid who now doesn't like me. And a giant centipede. Not good. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, wait. Uh, here we go. They're not following me. There we go. That definitely helps. Raw boar meat. Nice. Everyone's fighting each other here. Oh, these droids like me fine. Good. Where is the place I want to go? Actually, where do I even want to go? We need to locate the Barathrite Conclave within Grid Gate. And then we need to ask them about the strange signal. Well, we take this. We won't take the skull because we can't wear it anyway. Let's examine this. High explosive grenade. Sure, I'll take it. Thank you. Mm. Ah, I really like that discharged skill. It's kind of like a good get out of jail card. You just walk somewhere without paying attention and then you just kill things. I guess at some point it loses its um, strength, but well, considering I never even was here, I think that's fine. What are you? You're a novice of the sightless way. Wearing simple robes, the pilgrim's visage is surprisingly calm given his, given his surroundings. He has a kukri with him. Hmm. Oh, what was that? Sunders your mind. Oh, he's a psychic. Now he's dead. Steel kukri. Oh, <laughs> nice. I won't bring it. <sighs> Stop being a psychic. There we are. Steel battle axe. Sure. I'll take that instead of uh, this one. What else is there? Sturdy leather cloak. Oops, I took the sprint skill. That's not good. Um, but we can have a sturdy leather cloak, which gives us one extra dodge value. Not that it will help, but... There we go. Iron buckler. Nice. Uh, we can equip that in our arm as well. So we are getting fairly well equipped, I would say. Should be at le least able to take somewhat of a beating. So now we're here, but how do we get out? There is the stairs that we already found, so maybe we should just go there. Giant centipedes. There's another one of those. There we go. Another steel battle axe. Yeah, and a chainmail, which I won't be bringing with me. Mm, but we have the iron battle axe, which we will replace. Oh, 
Are you hostile? Oh, you're friendly. Good. Protect me. Dismember it, wound it, kill it. And that's how we do it. And that was a pig, so we can get some raw boar meat out of it. And a chest as well with some bandages, a basic toolkit. Nice. And a burnt capacitor. And a weird artifact, which is a poison gas grenade. That is a weird artifact. Never seen one. Hmm. Getting surrounded. Although we still have a fair amount of HP, so I'm not too worried. These robots are killing everything. Oh, another psychic guy. All right, jewel encrusted steel warhammer. Oof, that's worth a lot. Um, but probably we can't bring it with us. Oh, we can, nice. Also, I'm not sure how much money we need because we can't bring so much anyway. Mm, we have gained a level, five hit points, one mutation point, and No attribute point, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, skillful butchery, would it be worth it? Not entirely sure. Mm. I am inclined to not take anything yet. Let's go down more. Nice. Yeah, we don't have any, um, how do you call them? Actual uh, blueprints yet, so we can't really make anything. All right, so let's go down here. Hello. That's better. Did you kill everything? Nice. Thank you, bloody, bloody albino ape. Killing everything. <laughs> and they're gonna kill the... That centipede there. Steel battle acts and spiked gauntlets once again. Um, well, we do have more hands, don't we? Oh, that didn't work. Um, so we have a steel battle axe, steel battle axe, steel battle axe. So we don't need more steel battle axes anymore. Um, but here are some parts. More steel but Oh, a glow sphere. Nice. I think they... Ah, no, I activated the sprint again. So, I think if we have one of these, we don't need it, but I think you can float nearby. No, you actually have to equip them. Okay. But yeah, so we are already have night vision, so we don't actually need a glow sphere, but it would be a good um, replacement of the glow torch, basically. Crit Kate Recoiler. It immediately allows us to get back to Gridgate, I guess. Let's slug. So let us check out what this glow sphere, how this works. Palm of human hand. Yeah, so it just needs to be in your hand. Luckily, we don't need to do that. Yeah, I really like night vision. Otherwise, you just need to carry a torch with you all the time. Or glow spheres.
You have finished the step. Locate the Barathromite Conclave. Of the quest a canticle for Barathrum, you receive 250 XP. Hello. What is this? It's a communications panel. Be gone, Wayfarer. This is no place for you. I came by the way of Joppa, the elder that calls me friend. A weary voice from the box says, Enter then, traveler. Uh, yeah, but like here? How do I... Can I just pass through there? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. <laughs> a chromling. A metallic man-child. We can trade, but he doesn't have anything to trade. Welcome to Gridgate, Delver. What may I interest in you in today? What kind of creature are you? We are called the Ur sheep. Our kind are smarter than the average bear. Well done. But we can trade with this guy. Woohoo! Um, you can have my glow sphere. You can have my iron battle axe. You can have this. You can have this. Uh, you can't have any of that. But can I have some of your stuff? Like, can't have it all. Ha! <laughs> nice. Uh, let's look at it. Oh, that's just some food, I guess. And it cost me money, but I kind of have money. <laughs> so it's costing me actually a lot of money. So let us bring some fine wafers and plum mushrooms and bear jerky. I want it all. Um, I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I could take the slugs. Yeah, this is going to be very heavy, I guess. All right, offer. I can pay 69, that's fine. Because then I have 50 more pounds to carry. Blocked by a massive door. Where are you? Boop, beep, boop. Live and remain ever restless. Ah. So, aha, this is the one for the quest. You have finished the step. Speak with the Barathromites of the quest, a canticle for Barathrum. A slot opens from the center of the door and a metal tray slides out. Play disc, place disc in tray. Several minutes pass. So it seems that you are indeed Argive's apprentice. He wishes you to study with us. Unfortunately, we require more than a willing spirit. Cut is not Joppa. You will need to prove your worth. That you might not waste our time and efforts. Travel to the great cavern called Kotha to the north. Within its halls, you will find a cache of dysfunctional way droids. Recover one, repair it and return it here. If we are satisfied with your work, you will be admitted to our order. Otherwise, you will not be. Do you accept this arrangement? Sure. More than a willing spirit. That's me. All right, cool. We are getting somewhere. Nice. So I will put the episode to a close here. We've been playing for quite a bit now. So I hope you had fun and see you next time.